Hello everyone and welcome to Train Sim World once again and this is, oh god I hate this SI camera, that was a great start. This is the Long Island Railroad DLC, I just bought it and uh, it's, it's pretty decent, I gotta be fair, I have been enjoying it so far. Um, these trains can be a bit annoying, uh, I need to turn that on. They can be a bitch to start, these can. Right, so brakes to, come on max brake and we need to charge the brakes to 90 to 100 so that will do fine and I believe we are good to go as soon as the timer runs out there so today we're going from New York Penn to Hampstead Hempstead yeah Hempstead and uh, we got a few stops on the way almost time to set off now and yeah, I've generally been enjoying this DLC. I actually went out and bought this. Uh, it was, I think it was about £5. I'm not really sure. I'll have to check and put the thing up on screen. Oop, I closed the doors too early. Right, let's see if we can get this to go. Yes. Yes. I did have an issue trying to get this train going. Um, where you put it in power and it just won't go. And the way to fix that is to essentially put the max brakes back on and then charge the brakes again. It, it's a bit annoying. So yeah, this is um, the Long Island Railroad. We're at New York Penn once again. And you'll notice that the HUD, the head-up display, has changed a little bit from before simply because this train is different. So here we've got kind of an accelerometer, so if it goes that way, that you're accelerating, if it goes that way, you're braking, if it's in the middle, you're coasting. We are ever so slightly losing speed right now, but that's fine, we're about to hit a 60 zone. Um, that's your signal speed, not really sure what that is. Uh, we're in forward, that's what that house shape means. So if I put it in neutral and reverse, we want to be in forward. And the speed limit's about to go up to 60, so if it'll give us that any time now, it'd be nice. Come on. Gonna put it in throttle notch 1 just to start. No, we're gonna speed. There it goes. Right, let's go full power on our electric train. This is a... I'd love to tell you what train this is, but I can't remember. <laughs> An L-I-R-R-M-7, I believe it was, something like that. Right, let's be careful not to speed. I did notice something, and I know this is very minor, but we're in the same tunnel now, into New York Penn, that we took in the Amtrak train. Which makes sense, it's New York Penn, this is only a certain amount of ways in and out. But the thing that occurred to me was, you see this third rail here, that's how we draw power. Now, don't quote me on this, but I am almost convinced that that's not there in the Amtrak version, and as I said, I know it's minor, but it must be there in real life, right? And if you buy a simulator, especially if you pay a lot of money for it, you do kind of expect it to be realistic. I'm just trying to balance out speed, 59, I found that with this DLC, it is a very tight schedule, however, if you stick to the speed limit and try not to be more than 5 miles per hour under it, then you can make all the stops at a reasonable time. Even if you fall behind slightly, unless you just keep messing up, you'll be able to hit every single stop on time. Throttle notch 3 seems to be... Hold now speed beautifully, so I'm going to leave it there while we exit this tunnel at a 1.3% grade. Uh, you can see that by there, that's how I know that. But yeah, I have been enjoying this DLC, it is a good DLC. DLC? DLC. I don't know though, I feel that a lot of train simulator stuff and planes, basically any simulator, only comes with a set amount of things in the game. This is my main quarrel with simulators. Like, take X-Plane, you get about 10 planes, 
And if you want a new plane, something you haven't flown before, they can be up to a hundred dollars, hundred pounds. They're like crazy expensive. And I get why that's done. Microtransactions are a huge thing. I suppose that's true of any game. I mean, look at EA, not pointing fingers or anything. But I, a lot of DLC is very expensive. This one I got on sale, so it wasn't that bad. But I believe this like twenty-four pound or something ridiculous like that. And I mean, it's a good DLC, but I wouldn't say it was worth that. Right, we got a forty-five limit coming up, so I'm just gonna. Actually, no, I'm gonna stick to the speed limit. As I said, you need to stick to the speed limit for as long as you can to make sure you arrive on time. We've got to be there by 7.44, so we've got three minutes, and it's 1.8 miles out. Right, I'm going to brake quite sharp now. One thing I would say to always be careful of, you don't want to put this into emergency brake mode by accident. That is a whole world of not fun. <laughs> I've done that a few times, accidentally put an emergency brake on. Oh, we got a 30 limit coming up. Come on, drop us down. Yeah, you can go up to brake level 10, I believe it is. And then after that is emergency brake, and you don't want to do that. Because then you have to stop the train, and you could basically say bye bye to your schedule then. Because you have to stop the train, it has to come to a full stop, that's what the emergency brake does. You can't go, oops, I did that, I'll just take it back out of emergency mode. It doesn't work like that. You have to let the train stop. Uh, okay, I accelerated too much then. Yeah, you've got to let the train stop, and then reset the brakes, take the reverser out, reset the brakes, um, recharge them, I believe. <laughs> it's, n it's not fun, so try not to do that, try your hardest. I'm only going to accelerate up to about 45 miles per hour, because that's the limit that's coming up now. So I can drop the speed back down. I'm going to go throttle notch 2. That should hold us. Yeah, that looks decent. My whole objective at the moment is to balance this bar down here. That is my entire objective. And I think, not to blow my own trumpet, I think I'm doing quite well at it at the moment. Right, now we're going to start accelerating because the track's leveled out. So, yeah, throttle notch 1 should do it. We are actually accelerating a little bit, so I'm just going to pop that down to zero. We are slightly over, you can see there. Our needle's past the red mark. However, it doesn't count that until, like even there, there's a discrepancy. It says 46 there, 45 there. It doesn't count it as speeding until that says 46 until the actual number there goes over. Right, we're coming up to 60. Oh, we're coming up to the station as well. And that, kids, is why it's important to pay attention. Good news is the brakes on this train are very good and very responsive. So that's good to know. It's a lovely spring day I chose for this route. Slowing down beautifully now. You want to get the cab about on the actual sign down there, like the... Oh, that limit down there. Right, so I'm gonna slightly break now. Get us down to about five miles per hour as we approach it. Speed's coming down beautifully, so I'm gonna stop braking there and break to number four. Um, we are slightly over, but we will still count that. Says to arrive at 7.44, it's now 7.44 and 20 seconds. However, it doesn't count as late unless that's 7.45 as far as I know. At least that's what it looked like to me when I played last time. Right, we are loading the passengers now. So I need to be ready to close the doors. Yeah, I really don't like this outside camera. Oh, I'm late. Lock right. Come on, let's go. And doors closed, full throttle. It does say in the tutorial, don't go full throttle, but honestly, I haven't had a problem with it. So yeah, you can see the doors are closed there. Don't try and leave before that lights up. You'll find out why if you try that. 
<laughs> it's really not fun. My OCD, I'm trying to balance the camera, but my mouse is a bit shaky. I just got out of the shower, so my hand's wet, so that's probably why. 60 limit, coming up on an 80 limit. We got six miles almost till our next stop, which is Jamaica. Damn girl, you Caribbean, because Jamaican me crazy. Ne never use that. Seriously, never use that line. Investment pays. Yes, that's literally what investment is. God, that train's loud from the back. Oh god, nah, speed. Slow me down. And that is why it's important to pay attention. So yeah, here's our train. It's actually quite long. I didn't realise the train was that long. I thought it was only four carriages. And we can accelerate further. Come on. Gotta wait for the back of the train to pass the speed board. And I'm speeding. Because I'm very talented like that. <laughs> what is that? Is that a railroad? Yeah, that's a train track. Don't know where that goes. Absolutely no idea, but I'm going to stay first person most of this journey because that train's very loud on the outside. I think that signal means clear, but I've no idea. My logic is keep going unless it looks like I shouldn't. <laughs> and that's how everyone dies on my train, pretty much. I do have a habit of doing that. If I don't understand the signal, I just be like, eh, that probably means it's clear. And then the next one will be red and it's like, well, that's way too late to stop. I'm going to kill everyone. It's a massive highway with a building at the end, apparently. Yeah, that train's very loud. My main thing about this game that I would like to see change, I hate this camera. Like if I try and go to the side, I trust it to not do it now, I try to show you guys. But if something gets in the way, there it goes. If someone gets in the way of the camera, it will suddenly shoot inwards, and that's just not fun for anyone. We're holding our speed limit lovely on throttle notch free. I like that. Gotta be there at 7.53, so we got about five minutes, five and a half minutes. Uh, 35 limit, 2.4 miles out. Yeah, that's fine. I know that into Jamaica, Jamaica's like a really busy stop. It's a really big part of New York, actually. Um... The, the station's quite big and it's very slow. Uh, I think it's 15 mile an hour limit outside the station, so be careful of that. Uh, I'm trying to work out if that's holding our speed or if that's going to accelerate us. I think that should be okay holding our speed. Last time I played this, I had to stop at this station here, and I massively overshot it. Yeah, we're, we're accelerating, so I'm going to knock that down to throttle notch 1 for a second. Once again, I feel like there needs to be more AI traffic. This looks like it should be busy. Like, I, I kind of sat here going, why is this not busy? This four track for a reason. Oh, that's cool, we're going under a building. kind of want to know what building that is and why they decided to build it over a train track. You know, they could have built it literally next door. But whatever, I'm not an architect. Yeah, it just feels like this needs to be busier. Right, I'm going to start slowing down now for this 35 limit. I'm thinking breaking notch 6. No, 8. My god, we're not we're gonna be nowhere near doing this. I'm on max break right now and we're not gonna do it. Yeah, I horribly misjudged that. It's for this change in track here. Right, that's better. We're okay now. And of course it would drop down and without letting me know it's gonna do that. It's okay. We weren't that far over. I'd say, like, we'd certainly get a discipline for that, but it's within acceptable limits, I would argue. We are going downhill, so I am going to just apply a little bit of brake. There you go. Up to 35 now. Let's go throttle notch 2, just to gain this bit of speed. And we're not too far out from Jamaica now. I believe Jamaica is near Queens. 
because there's the Bay of Jamaica that actually separates New York from um, Queens. I believe that's... I think I've got that right, but again, my geography for a city 3,000 miles away is not really expected to be that great, is it? Right, we need to seriously start slowing down for this 15 zone. Especially bearing in mind that we're going down a hill now. Yeah, this is Jamaica. It's pretty busy. It's got its own little yard, for God's sake. Yeah, there's this two routes I want to show on this map. Because it is kind of X-shaped. That's the best way I can describe it. I'll show you the map now once I've slowed down. So I'm doing um, New York Penn to Hampstead today, and then I'm going to do the other route next time. Yeah, we need to slow down a little bit more. Right, there it goes. Nope. Yeah, we're going to have to hold the brakes because the back of the train's still going downhill. This is Queens. No, this is not Queens. This is Jamaica. As you know, sometimes you say something and say to yourself, "That's not right." I just had one of their moments. I said, and I was like, "No, that's not what I wanted to say at all." But I'm going to go first person. It just ha people have preferences. Some people drive outside the car. Others use the hood view. Others use first person. I find that I judge things best in first person view. Like, on GTA I've got used to the handling now, I can drive in OCRP from outside quite a lot better, but I still find that my best judgement comes from first person, so that's why I do this a lot. I think we stopped beautifully that time. And let's unlock the left door. Was we late? I didn't see what... No, we're actually early, which means I'm probably going to have to wait a little bit. That's usually what being early means on this game. It's quite a nice view there. Let's see what it says once I've loaded all the passengers. Right. Let's, yeah, wait for <laughs> 40 seconds. So I'm going to edit this out. And I'll bring you back in a moment once we're ready to go from Jamaica to our next stop. And we are ready to lock the doors. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I did lock them. Come on. Ah. Right, let's go. We do have another train coming in, but there. Oh, I don't want to go full throttle, not in a 15 limit. That's reckless. Yep, got another train on over there coming in. Once again, I feel though that there should be at least, like half of those platforms should have trains coming and going and their way in and I just, that's another big criticism I have of this game. I know it sounds like it's not that good because I do spend a lot of time picking holes, but as I said, you, you should expect good if you're spending a lot of money on a thing. Like, I, I bought the base game and the DLC. And that it was quite a lot. I think altogether I spent about sixty pounds on this, which is not a lot of money, but for a game that's still a decent amount, especially a game on such a small niche market. And I just feel like you should expect high from it. You should expect it to be realistic, to be good. So like the graphics, no quarrels with, but I I don't like the camera. That I'll just straight up say. And I also don't like the fact that it's just. I think Squirrel said it best. It's not lived in. Like, look at this. This is one, two, three. That's nine tracks right there. Nine tracks indicates busy, but this just isn't busy. I think I've seen two trains, maybe, maybe even one, like AI trains, and it just feels like there should be more. And yes, I know that's being picky. Right, coming up on an 80 limit now, so once the back of the train passes that speed, well there's no speed sign there, but once the back of the train passes we can floor it. Yeah, the graphics wise, and map wise even, 
I don't have any quarrels with this game. None at all. It's a great map. It's well orchestrated. How they implemented it. But it just needs... Like, how hard, honestly, is it? Especially considering they've got... They've got a database of every service on this track, on this uh, line. You can drive any of the trains. How hard would it be for them to just say, right, let's put them as AI? I feel that's a few lines of code. I just, I don't think it would be that hard to implement, and it would make it so much better. Like, I could even overlook there being no cars on the roads, if there was a lot of AI traffic, because you wouldn't spend that much time looking at the road, let's be honest. You'd be looking around a lot more at the AI traffic, but there is none. Right, I'm going to use the same trick again, throttle notch 3. we got to be at Floral Park at 8 o'clock, so we got about 3.5 minutes, it's 4 miles away, but we are doing 80 miles per hour, so... That's going to be tight, actually. But no, we should, we should definitely be able to do that, I feel. Because we have been keeping at the speed limit, pretty much, so it, it should be doable. I have no idea what station that was. Another thing I've noticed, there's a bit of lag when you spin the camera around sometimes, but then that could be a hardware issue or optimization. It's hard to pinpoint what that is. I doubt very much that it's my graphics card can't handle it though, because as I said before, I've got a pretty good graphics card. I've got a GTX 1080 Ti. So it should be able to handle a simulator. Well, they're saying that I am only getting 25 frames a second, 30 frames a second. Hmm. Okay, I like, didn't even notice our speed then. That's okay, it'll help us keep our schedule. Come on, slow us down a little bit more. Just that, that bit of a mile right there it goes. Coming up on a 60 limit in 1.2 miles, and then a mile beyond that, we've got our stop. I'm going to leave it to the last minute to... Uh, Accelerate to decelerate to that, sorry. But yeah, there needs to be more here. Like, come on, Tuvdale. It's not that difficult, I'm sure. Lovely landscape. Uh, why are we speeding so much? Uh, that's not what I wanted to press. I need to pay attention to our speed, I think. In fact, I need to slow down in general. That 60 limit's coming up quick. We need to break a little more than that. Ooh, are we going to do this? This is going to be close. I think we will. Yeah, we will. There it goes, beautifully. Right, try throttle notch one. I think three wasn't holding it correctly then. Even now, it feels like we're accelerating. We are coming up on a 60 limit, uh, a 70 limit, sorry. 0.7 miles out, we got a minute. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be tight. Because you've got to bear in mind, we got braking distance as well. we got to stop. 45 seconds. Ooh. I think we may be a touch late to this one. I really need to start slowing down fast. Max break, because I didn't realise how close we were. I'm not paying attention very well today, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, I don't like the sound it makes from the outside. Almost went into emergency break then. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're stopping here. We're running late. See, that is a dangerous trap to fall into. You're running late, so you, over you, you leave break into the last minute go full brakes and then you accidentally emergency brake. And all that time you made up <laughs> is gone. Gone with the wind. Yeah, I think we're judging this about right with brake notch 4. Maybe stopped a bit early but who cares. And unlock the doors on the right. We actually, we were about 15 seconds late, which, you know what, I can live with that. 
Oh, that's cool. They actually put street signs on the... I can't really show you. On the traffic lights down there. See what I mean? It is detail. It's a good map. They've taken a lot of care. Vehicles over 9 foot 9 not allowed. That's a lot of care. But they just... They need to put more AI in. I know it sounds a bit like I'm a parrot at the moment, but... It's what I expect. As the customer, I should be able to expect things like that. Got a 45 limit, so I can't over accelerate. And next is our final stop, Hempstead. We've got to be there at nine minutes past. Four point two miles. The other route, I can't remember what the start station's called, but we're going to end at Atlantic Terminal probably, or do it the other way around maybe. Um, Atlantic Terminal is odd in that. <laughs> from the last stop, which is Jamaica, I believe, it's just one long continuous run underground. Kind of like the tunnel at the um, New York Penn Station, but a little bit older, it feels. Maybe newer, I don't really know. Probably newer, actually. I can accelerate now. But yeah, it's quite a long trip through a tunnel, so that should be uh, interesting. I honestly thought it would take longer to do this journey. We've been recording I've been recording now for twenty-seven minutes. So it's not too bad. It's a good little journey you can do if you've got a spare half hour, forty-five minutes. Right, cut the throttle down to notch one seems good. That's holding us perfectly. Yeah, <laughs> sixty-nine. The brain of a child. I think girls grow up to be women, boys grow up to be big little boys. <laughs> boys will always be childish. The sooner you accept that, the easier it becomes. Oh, we had a level crossing. I don't think this train has a bell, no. That's not a great horn. Uh, sounds like Eeyore. Just, uh, I don't like it anymore. Oh well, I'm picking holes again. I don't know, apparently that's what I'm good at, just picking holes in everything. <laughs> what is my favourite route on Train Sim World that I've driven so, so far? That's a good question. I quite like Sandpatch Grade, but I wish there was more there. Like, most of the routes you go through the yard, not into it at the end, and the other end's kind of disappointing, the way it just ends at a, coal, at a, a side in essentially. I'd like to see it go yard to yard. Uh, Grey Western Main Line, I feel that I'm biased towards that line because that is my local line, as I've explained before. But it is a pretty good line, but then, equally, it is just a long expanse straight of nothingness. <laughs> That's a weird sentence to say. Yeah, you may have noticed that I cut a bit out of the video then. That's just something my driver installed. <laughs> Nvidia driver. Oh, you need to install it right now. It's like, no, 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 not really. I don't want to do that. Ah, I'm not going to make this. I'm not going to slow down in time. That wasn't a stop signal, was it? Oh, you're kidding me. And we're going back through this station here. And some of you will notice that this doesn't make sense, this video. How have I suddenly gone from further down the line to here? Well, Kind of, that's a simple explanation. I may have lost my attention span completely and blown a red light. By red, I mean three ambers, because why not? <laughs> the track merges into one track at the end, and I may have went through that a little fast and caused a head-on collision with another train. But anyway, ignore that. Um, I'm going to edit it. I can't remember where I was when I was talking about the route, so I'm just gonna... I loaded from the last checkpoint, I'm gonna cut it to where I just started talking again, so it probably doesn't make a whole load of sense. I'm gonna speed... talking to the attention span, eh? In fact, it was here where the red light was. So yeah, the Amtrak I, I quite like. Um, I feel like none of the routes are actually that exciting. I don't know if that's just me, but I just do. Right, 
I missed this key little note here. See this light down here at the bottom, 15? That's our track speed limit. I didn't pay attention to that. And this is where I blew a red light. So I'm going to slow right down here. And I'm going to let this train pass. Don't know where we are. We're not that far out from, yeah, it's a mile away. Hempstead. Got four minutes. Yeah, I completely blew this red signal. Attention span, eh? Yeah, the Amtrak one I quite like, and the German one I don't really like, but mainly because I don't understand the signaling on it. Right, yeah, apparently that, oh god, moving my camera, OCD, line it up, that's a red light apparently. Should go diagonal now. Come on, pop us diagonal. There it goes. Right, so we got a 30 limit here. Don't know how long this limit goes on for. Hopefully just as we pass this junction. 15. Okay, that's good to bear in mind. So this is where we're diverging off. I think. Not really sure where you go if you go straight down there. Uh, trying to line my camera up. I'm very OCD with that. You know what that'll do? Right, 15 limit around here. Honk at the level crossing. And we're about a mile out, so we're looking good. Got about two and a half minutes to do a mile. Uh, I hope this speed limit increases soon. Corner's very tight, you can tell by how much the train's bending. It's a random car park there. I feel like we're in a shopping centre. Right, we've got a 30 limit coming up around here. Around this double curve. Try and speed up a little bit. There it goes, perfect. I think no matter how fast you do this section, you're going to be held up by that train anyway, so... It doesn't really matter that much if you try and speed the catch up, because you're going to be held up anyway. We are speeding a little bit. Just hold it here, go around here, and we're going to hit this 30 zone any second. Got a green signal up ahead. Just pop back into your view. Oh, actually, what station is this? Does it tell me anywhere? Caught. Oh, I couldn't make that out. Low press, I think. There. County. Lie low press. <laughs> That's not right. I'm speeding again. Going downhill. Right, come on, give us this 30 limit. Come on, I need it. 15 limit again, which means the next light's probably red. So we're gonna have to stick to 15. Oh, that's annoying. No XPQR. No cross. I don't know what that means. I'm looking at these lights on the board, dashboard here. So yeah, we've got a 15 limit coming up. Or if we are in a 15 limit, we've got a red light coming up. Can I make out anything? No, we appear clear. I think that's just because it's the end of the line. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to accelerate because of what... Well, we're late anyway. Can we get there in a minute? That 15 limit, that's alarming me a little bit though. But I am going to accelerate in. I'm trying to get there before 10 past. Then we're only a minute late. I think that still classes as on time. Changing track here. So this is Hempstead, the end of the line. I swear there's a place in London called, Hemp called Hempstead. 
Not sure though. I'm pretty sure. Well, mm. I know. I just, it just feels like I know that there is. If that makes sense, I'm sure there's a place in London called Hempstead. No, oh, perhaps it, it's named after that. Come on. Gotta judge this right now. We're not gonna make it before ten past. God damn it. Ah oh, well. That was a good attempt. Trying to judge this perfectly. And stop here. Yep, I'll take that. Unlock left. Right, okay guys, well that is going to do it for today. Welcome to Hempstead. Uh, make sure you check out my Discord, there is a link in the description. And um, I guess I will see you next time. Peace out guys.